I think this is wildly unfair to LeBron. Guys. Wildly unfair. I also think it is incredibly cowardly by Reggie. Welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about Reggie Miller being attacked for giving his opinion on LeBron James. Check it out. That here, Jordan. and I dealt with the total fiction that Reggie and his partners were peddling about him owning MSG. And I was like, ah, people don't even want to relitigate the 90s. But if I may for a moment, did you know Reggie Miller, the building he has his worst career record is MSG. Did you know that he was a career 13 and 39 on the road against the Knicks? Did you know that in the playoffs he won a total of six games against the Knicks and MSG? I let the whole thing just let it lie. It was 30 years ago. <laughs> let him create all of his own narratives that he wants. That's yeah. fine. But now, when I think definitively he is calling out LeBron James. Oh, <laughs> that's who it is. I, no, no. I, this is. I was wondering until he said Mount Rushmore. I, I thought it was what, you say He Mount gave Rushmore. himself, a, it, with the veteran status, he gave himself an out. But when he right, says right. active players on a lot of people's <laughs> Mount Rushmore's, <laughs> I guess I would ask my, you know what, I'll look into the camera and make the request to my dear friend Dan Patrick who has Reggie on the show all the time, oh, yeah. and Dan is as good of an interviewer as there is in media, make Reggie tell you who he's talking about. There was two options. Steph or LeBron. Steph or LeBron. They're the only two active yeah. players that are on anyone's Mount Rushmore. And it, 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 That's it. it, it we, yeah. we, by the way, we know it's LeBron he's talking about, <laughs> but make him tell you. I mean, and he, Reggie, he will probably, and, I bet you he throws Durant in the, in the mix. If the, he even throws Durant's out. Durant's on no one's Mount Rushmore. I know, but. The, okay, the, whoever it is. Maybe it's the Mount name Rushmore name. bag. I would. The bro, bag? Bro, I, mean, I, right, would, I, I think this is wildly unfair to LeBron. Wildly unfair. I also think it is. Incredibly cowardly by Reggie. Don't name the name. Because it, and and if he's pressed on it, I almost guarantee you he'll say, "I, everyone, I didn't say LeBron. I, was, I agree." So I, agree I, I find it outrageous. That. Outrageous. Yeah. I, Speaking here. of the elephant in the room, here is Reggie during the game last game, possibly taking a shot at LeBron James. Oh come on. We've got certain guy veteran status in our game that are on a lot of people's Mount Rushmore that like to deflect and, and point fingers at others. Here's a 22-year-old saying, this is on me. It's my fault. Who are you taking no. a shot at? Uh, I'm talking to, uh, taking a shot in general. I, I'm trying to give credit and creed to a 20-year-old, 22-year-old, 22 um, because I want to put myself in his shoes, right? And I remember when I was 21, 22, I don't know if I could have gotten in front of a camera with the world watching and said, this is on me. And I know a lot of people want to think and assume it's LeBron I'm taking shots at because, look, I've been in those locker rooms when certain veterans shy away from that. And it's quick to always pile on LeBron. Um, if it was LeBron, I would have said LeBron James. But you right? said current players Mount Rushmore. So you, oh, you just assume it's LeBron? Well, who else is it going to be? Well, it, 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 it could, could only be, be KD or Steph. Those are the only possible guys who could be on the current Mount current Mount Rushmore. It's more so. But than, you gave oh, oh. Ant-Man credit, which I'm fine yeah. with. You just brought in another portion when you said the current Mount Rushmore. Well, I've seen a lot of guys deflect those criticisms when here's a 22 year old stepping up taking responsibility so you could take it either way you want is it a shot at lebron absolutely not because i've seen him do the same thing atman has done too okay is there a player in your head then if you say it's not lebron <laughs> because I you know what you did to... say this about the coaches got fired but the players either last week or the week yes. before so you were saying that you got coaches fired in Phoenix and Los Angeles where players maybe well, didn't no, take no, the blame no. what i said was the coaches unfortunately are always the first speaking of so the i hope that through this whole situation you can really see how strong the media machine is and when they want you 
that they come and get you. All right, Reggie Miller is entitled to his own opinion. He can say what he wants to say, especially when it's something that many other people were saying at the same time. He spoke for a lot of people, all right? Who do not, do not have a voice. And even some who do have a voice and who really um, f- felt that Anthony Edwards is a refreshing spirit in the NBA compared with the last 20 something years. Right? He reminded many people of Jordan, reminded many people you know, of the competitive spirit of God bless his soul, Kobe Bryant. All right, he's reminiscent of the, the, a player from the 90s. This was going around. It's nothing new all right, that Reggie was saying. He was just stating what the majority of people, in my opinion, were stating. So I don't see why these guys, these sharks, come out you know, to attack Reggie for saying what he got to say. And then to put him on blast, to expose him, to show everybody that he's talking about the golden boy, LeBron James. So that he can get bashed. As we know that if you talk about LeBron like that on on TV, you get bashed. So obviously Reggie doesn't want to come out and state 100% who he's talking about. Because he knew what was going to happen. And this is what this is what happened. Imagine he had mentioned LeBron James. Shannon would have got on him. Kendrick Perkins would have got at him. Nick Wright already got at him. And he didn't even mention a name. But you all know if the cap fits, you got to wear it. If the shoe fits, you got to wear it. Right? But these guys are just ashamed of the truth. Right? You don't see Nick Wright on here talking about, you know, Reggie Miller being wrong. You don't see Dan Patrick talking about Reggie Miller being wrong about his statement. They probably agree with it. But no slander should come LeBron's way. That's the issue here. Okay? But I'm proud that Reggie came out and stated his piece. Just got to deal with the backlash now. That's about it, you know? But with that being said, you know, the older NBA heads... I'm sure they're happy that the NBA is headed in another direction, in a better direction, one that's reminiscent of the past. And I hope that during this transition, that the media as well will head in the direction that is parallel with the players. Right? So a man like Anthony Edwards can be celebrated and we can bring back that real little NBA spirit to the NBA so that's about it so until next time